want everybody to stand up. If I have to be standing up, you have to stand up too, <laughs> just for a minute. All right, when this all crazy dream started three years ago, if you knew what your dream was and you successfully launched it since then, I want you to sit down. If since then you have figured out what your hustle is, you have a plan and you're really working toward that and it's working for you, I also want you to sit down because this speech is not for you. <laughs> if you're still standing, the speech is for you. You guys can go ahead and sit down. When my grandfather passed away, he left me with only two things. He left me with a chess set and a wooden turtle. He joined the Marines when he was 17, and he was stationed in Pearl Harbor. When his uh, tour of duty was up, he had to make a decision whether he was going to re-enlist or whether he was going to go back and be a civilian. And he was very nervous about this decision. It was a big decision for him. Um, he came from the coal mines, and that was his future, was going back to the coal mines. Um, so he went to his commanding officer, and he asked his commanding officer, what should I do? So he's sitting there, and his CO says, well, look over in the corner. What do you see? My grandfather looks over, and there's a, just a fish tank. It's like, a tank? He has no idea where this is going. The CO says, what do you see in that tank? My grandfather looks over in it, and there's a turtle sitting there. So his commanding officer said, I want you to be like the turtle. The turtle cannot move forward until he sticks his neck out. So I'm going to tell you how a turtle taught me how to take chances. You can't make progress until you stick your neck out. Great things never come from within a comfort zone. The most interesting things happen just outside of that comfort zone. It's not very far, but you have to get out of that comfort zone. Number two, direction is more important than speed. Many people, when you look around, are going nowhere fast. So you have to have a direction. Trust that steps rather than speed are the way to get there. You do it one step at a time. Sometimes the smallest step in the right direction ends up being the biggest step of your life. Crawl if you must, and a lot of us are there, but take that step. So the third way is to be comfortable in your own shell. Quit trying to compare your hustle to someone else's. You're not on the same journey. You have different skills, you have different experiences. Quit looking at everybody else's hustle and saying, theirs is better, theirs is bigger, they can do it, I can't. You need to have a tough hide and a tender heart, just like a turtle. And sometimes you're in a situation, just like when the turtles are born, that you have to dig yourself out of a hole that you didn't put yourself in in the first place. Deal with that and move on. So start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. So to finish up my grandfather's story, it's pretty interesting. He was in the Marines for 20 years. He retired as a master sergeant, and he decided at 40 that he wanted to start again. He went to school, and he got his degree, as, uh, um, his master's in speech pathology. He was the um, head of speech, hearing and speech for several hospitals in Cleveland, and he taught hearing and speech um, at Case Western Reserve in Cleveland State until he was 91 years old. In addition to that, he started the Cleveland Stroke Club. He wrote several books, and he was one of the most influential people in Cleveland and around the, the United States in hearing and speech, all because of that turtle. So the chess set that I got from him gave me something to strive for. It, he was always better than everybody. He can checkmate you within a couple moves. Always taught me, you know, move ahead, learn better, and keep striving for that. But the turtle, it was a constant reminder that life is just outside the shell. My life is, and so is yours. So I dare you to take that first step. Thank you.